Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we are going to discuss a call center transaction monitoring form, which has been developed in Excel and VBA. We will also understand the structure of worksheets and see the demo of uh, the file with all the available features. So let's uh, move to the Excel window and see the structure of monitoring form and demo. So here you can see that uh, this is the call center quality audit form and this has been developed especially for you know uh, to audit the calls okay so this uh, tracker has all the features like monitoring form a dashboard or to email facility creating database repository for uh, all the audits done previously you can download it from our website that is www the data labs .org. if you like our content please like share comment and subscribe our youtube channel so uh, before moving to the demo of this automated transaction monitoring form let's understand the structure of this file and vva codes okay so this uh, form has three different worksheets so one is form you can see here the second one is audit dump and the third one is email summary so in form sheet uh, we have all the input fields buttons and other to perform the audits and share the feedback we will discuss this form in detail in later part of this video in audit dump uh, this is especially to maintain the repository for all the audits done by auditor so once user will click on a save button that is available in form here everything all the input details will be uh, transferred with the help of visual basic code below the these columns okay and the third sheet is uh, for internal purpose that is for email summary so vva utilize this uh, sheet to auto populate all the required data and then draft an email and embed this sheet as a picture to send the audit uh, audit feedback to respective agent okay so let's uh, come to the audit form and discuss the form in details so this is the audit form basically so uh, this form has you know basically divided into five different sections one is for basic information here you can see that this is for basic information the second one is buttons and control the third one is uh, dashboard that is audit summary the fourth one is category wise you know audit details and the fifth one is uh, feedback so let's discuss one by one here so the first section that is you know employee and other details is for basic information that will be updated by qa or team leader while auditing the calls so here we have filled like employee id employee name employee email id client name call date transaction id auditor name audit date and feedback share okay so all these fields are free text input except feedback share that is the drop down field yes or no okay so basis on feedback like you have already discussed with the agent and shared the feedback you just need to select yes otherwise no okay and apart from this uh like the auditor's name and audit date uh, both are auto populated field by visual basic itself and that is free to audit you know edit basically so in case if visual basic is not providing the correct user information or correct date basically you have in different time zone or different date zone then you can uh, update the date and uh, the auditor's name here the second section has all the controls to submit uh, the call monitoring with the help of you know like a save button to reset the entire form on click ok reset and to share the feedback on email with the help of this option button so once you click on yes here and click on uh, save then what it will, it will do it will transfer all the data to audit term and send an email basis on the uh, no, uh, audit done by you and the scores and everything feedback provided by uh, auditors basically okay the third uh, section uh, that is the audit score summary the audit score summary provides category wise and overall scores here you can see that this is the category wise and overall scores 
then the weightage of all the categories applicable points earned points scores and whether or uh, what is the uh, overall score for quality whether it's 100 percent 90 percent and all the things and you can see that here uh, the color code has been you know legend has been provided so less than 85 percent if the quality score will be that would be red uh, greater than 85 percent and less than 90 percent that would be amber and greater than 90 percent if the quality would be that would be green okay so the fourth section is especially for audit details it has all the parameters and sub parameters on which auditor will perform the call audits this template has category like you can see greeting and courtesy and communication resolutions documentation process compliance and the subcategory like uh, these are the mentioned subcategory you can see along with uh, weightage that is available here in this column and its audit result that is the drop down field yes no and not applicable and the comment okay so these are the input fields basically this is for user and rest are uh, for information that is being provided by tool itself the tracker and the fifth section is uh, for feedback okay so auditor can update the overall feedback in this field like opportunities area and other remarks so this is the overall structure of this form uh, the first worksheet basically so now we have discussed the worksheet structure and different section of the monitoring form let's move to the visual basic application window and see the codes uh, which has been used to automate the process of saving the data resetting the form and sending the email okay so to open the uh, visual basic application window you can press shortcut key that is alt plus f11 or alternatively you can click on uh, developer tab that is available in the ribbon section here and then click on visual basic so visual basic is available in the code group so you just need to click on visual basic and once you click on visual basic you will directly jump to the microsoft visual basic for application uh, window so now you can see that uh, this particular uh, the code has been protected with the password so the password for the code is the data labs okay now you can see that uh, we have unprotected this successfully let's expand uh, the worksheets and the modules so in project explorer you know you can see that we have three different worksheets that uh, we have already discussed in you know while discussing the structure of this form and apart from all this worksheet we have three different modules having different sets of visual basic functions and procedures okay so let's discuss one by one so first of all let's click on mdl email and in mdl uh, email you can see that we have a sub procedure that is feedback email okay so this function has been used to draft an email and to send the feedback to agent along with the required summary in mailbox so in case if you are you know selecting uh, sending email on the first page that is the form and click on submit it will utilize this uh, feedback email to send the email you will see that we are utilizing the outlook object to create uh, or send the email basically so here it's taking the two basically to whom you are sending so it's it will take the inputs from the form itself and then you can mention the cc that is the carbon copy uh, like the email id then subject and then mail body that is the html mail body and then display so if you just want to send it directly without displaying this email uh, you just need to make it comment here like this and uncomment uncomment this one this send so let's remove this comment okay so this is all about the feedback email that is required to send the email basically draft the email and display it on the window so make sure while utilizing the feature like feedback email you just need to open you know the outlook application because it will utilize the outlook uh, to draft the email basically right let's move to the second uh, module that is mdl html so let's click on that and in this module you can see that we have one uh, function that is range to html okay we is utilizing this function to convert audit range page let me show you so what it will do it will uh, this email facility so 
it will convert the entire range starting from a1 to uh, this one m49 so it will convert like let me let's jump to the visual basic here and it will convert the provided range to a, to a specific you know picture format basically and it will attach to the email okay so this is only for converting a given range to html and attaching or you can see embedding in our uh, mail body so this is how we are utilizing this function let's uh, move to the module monitoring form uh, mon uh, module monitoring uh, you know, code window here and in this section you can see that we have uh, a function that is called initialize uh, sheet so this is for a reset you can see that so every time when you know user will open this uh, worksheet or application basically it will it will call this function initialize and it will you know remove the, all the data the input or details from the form itself right you can see that and it will you know uh, update the all the drop down fields like yes no na and the second worksheet is you know uh, the second function is that is for reset so it will take the confirmation from user if suppose user will uh, click on uh, reset button that is available in form then it will take the confirmation do you want to reset this form and it will provide two different buttons vva yes like yes and no and there would be a question mark over there and the title would be reset confirmation if user will click on yes then it will call this function that is initialize sheet so this this function will run otherwise if user will click no so nothing will happen so this is all about a reset and then uh, we have a function to validate the entire entry okay so suppose user is clicking on yes uh, or maybe like submit the data or save the data right then first of all it will run through all the inputs provided by user and it will in, it will check whether all the inputs provided by users are valid entry or not okay so we have applied some you know basic validation like if you know employee id is blank then it will show the employee id is blank here and it will terminate the transfer you know process, process basically again it will validate whether employee name is blank employee employee id client's name uh, call date transaction id auditor's name auditor date and then feedback shared yes or no and then uh, it will check the uh, category like whether user has selected yes no and any maybe if like suppose user has updated some different details apart from yes no and any then it will uh, prompt an error that okay audit results can't be blank or invalid like this. so this validation is applied uh, has been applied for all the subcategory okay yes no any yes no any and then if everything will go in the you know right direction basically having all the inputs then uh, the auditor the validation will pass and then uh, the code will move to the next you know next uh, function basically and the next function here that is the save data so this procedure is to uh, call the function to transfer the data basically you know so suppose user will click on uh, save button basically then it will take the confirmation do you want to submit the data and again in the same way reset uh, it will have two different buttons then question mark and the title and suppose user will click on no then it will come out from the uh, save data like it will not do anything okay if user will uh, select yes or click on yes then it will go through the rest of the codes then uh, you can see it will call the transfer then feedback email then call initialization like after doing the transfer and sending the email it will initialize the form it means delete the raw data uh, delete the input details which have been provided uh, by auditor itself on form so this is how you know with this function we are calling different different of procedures and functions to perform some certain task okay and this transfer so the next function is the transfer here we are calling so this function is has been utilized to transfer the data from form to uh, basically uh, this form to auditor dump 
so everything that is available in here like employee id employee name and all the details will be will get transferred to employee id employee id in a blank row basically you know so this is how we are performing uh, with the help of the transfer so you can see that we are updating all the details to a uh, dump uh, that is uh, the auditor dump basically so these are uh, the visual basic codes or you can see that uh, functions and procedures which are available in our transaction monitoring form let's come to the sheet form here the first sheet and here we are utilizing the macro enable so whether macro is enabled or not like so we are initializing the name with value one then auditor we don't have any code email sorry we don't have any code in this workbook uh, we are again initializing uh, the macro basically the name we have created with one so that we can identify whether user has enabled the macro or not right and uh, this window worksheet basically the wo workbook underscore open that is the event basically so it will call the initialize uh, function to initialize like to reset the form so that user can start a fresh audit okay so this is all about you know the visual basic codes which are available in our you know call center audit form let's move to the excel and start you know transferring a data here so let me uh, put a dummy number so let me uh, one two three four that is the employee id and name would be dilip kumar employee id uh, email id with the info at the rate uh, labs dot org okay this is the email id client team again the data labs okay and the call date let's suppose the call was happened today itself and the transaction id 89898989 that is the transaction id i think okay and the auditor name so let's uh, let it be data lab admin okay and the audit date is today itself that is 2nd october feedback shared yes we have already discussed uh, this audit with the respective agents that's why i am selecting yes uh, we need to send the feedback email yes of course we need to send that okay now let's come to the audit part here so we need to provide the yes of course yes so you can see that as we are selecting uh, you know the audit result from the drop down it's creating the summary for us basically what is the score like that okay let it be no then of course yes and yes and the feedback summary thanks Okay, so this is a simple feedback for demo so i think there is some mistake over here rightly we should pick the same score that is the overall here so let me drag this okay this one there is a formula okay so you can see that the quality over quality is 77.8 and that is the less than uh, 85 percent so we are done with updating all the details let's click on save so as you know once you click on uh, save button it will take the confirmation do you want to submit this form let's click on yes and once you, you will click on yes you can see that okay uh it has you know prepared or you can say draft and email first dear dilip, dilip kumar below is the audit summary and it has provided all the details of level you know here now you just need to click on send button to send the feedback okay if you want to make or add some text over here you can definitely go and add over here so let's close this we do not need to send this email now you can see that uh, it provides a confirmation message that okay call audit score and summary updated successfully so let's jump to the audit dump and see whether it has transferred data or not so you can see it has successfully transferred the audit details everything is there right so this is all about you know the call center quality audit form hope you like uh, this you know video thanks for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day bye bye